Many of us enjoyed the folder feature within first class, which allowed you to file messages away for later use. In Gmail, we have the option to use what they call labels. And I want to show you how you can create labels and how you can put messages, assign them to a label. The good thing about labels is we're able to file messages in multiple locations or assign them multiple labels so that they're not housed or that they're not categorized in just one way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the little gear in the top right hand corner and go down to mail settings. So once I'm in mail settings, I'm going to then click on labels. I'm going to close this window. Within labels, you see all of the system labels that Gmail automatically assigns to you. So you have the option to hide or show any of these that you would like. For instance, I don't use important very much, so I might hide that. Or um, you can also choose to show if unread. So if you have something that is brand new that has that label, that's the only time that label will show. So again, do what feels right to you. There are also some other labels that, again, you can hide or you can show them. So I'm going to hide each of these. I don't particularly need them. And if you notice, as I hide them, they disappear from the left-hand screen. So here's priority, and once I hit hide, it's gone. But I have the option to create new labels if I would like. So here is how you can create labels that are unique for you. So you could go in and you could create um, department, one for your department, and you could create it. Then I might create another one um, for personal messages. And if you notice, you also have the option to nest it under another one. So if you would like to embed um, under another particular label, you have the option to do that too. So you can do a regular label or what's called a nested label. So again, whichever works best for you. And then I'm going to create that also. So you can continue to create labels. And as they appear on the left-hand side, you can see where they are. So once I have created a few labels, I now want to file messages away. So I'm going to go back to my inbox. Now, I have two ways that I can assign a label to a particular message. For instance, I can take this message here, and if I go up to labels, and I can give it a particular label, and I click apply. As I do that, the label will appear here. You can also give it multiple labels. So I could also give this particular message two labels. And then it will show up this way. So you have the option of assigning more than one label. If you do labels this way, the messages stay within your inbox. If you would like to assign a message a label, but also archive it at the same time, which means it will be removed from your inbox, you can take a message here where your, I your cursor turns into a hand, and I can then drag and drop. The message is now gone from my inbox. I'm going to do the same thing with these two messages. Drag them. So that all the messages from Gmail are no longer in my inbox. However, if I click on the department label, there are the messages. So again, you're able to assign labels to individual messages, and they can remain in your inbox. Or if you drag and drop, it will assign a label, and it will also archive the message at the same time.